Today's a brand new day. Brand new day. I make a brand new start. I'm doing this for me, y'all. I'm doing this for my heart. Today's a brand new day. Brand new day. I make a brand new start. Hi, Diana, and welcome to another episode of the Fitted Reality Show. My name is Jasmine Harris. Last week, we met four of the six persons that went to Arrow Point. This week, we'll introduce you to the next two of the six persons that allowed us to follow them in this competition. But before, let's go straight into this week's feature, Oral Health. Oral Health is a vital necessity to our overall health. We headed down to Jagan Dental Center to learn about the importance of oral health to our bodies. I am Dr. Kyle Jagan. I'm the implantologist and the laser dentist at the Jagan Dental Center. Hi, I'm Shane Jagan and I'm the cosmetic dentist here at the Jagan Dental Center. Hi, I'm Dr. Clive Jagan. I'm the general practitioner here at the Jagan Dental Center and I'm also the CEO of the Jagan Dental Center. What is oral health? Oral health, as it were, goes is the health of your, not only your teeth, but all surrounding tissues within the mouth. So why is it important that oh. we, we focus on oral health? Well, first of all, everything passes through your body first goes into the mouth. Food, if not chewed properly, you have stomach problems. Mm -hmm. So you must have teeth. Well, you know should always teeth. brush after meals, basically. And so we need to walk with our toothbrush when we come to work? If you go to work, yes. And if per chance you don't have your toothbrush at work, make sure that after you finish eating, you rinse thoroughly. Because within the first 10 minutes of eating, digesting, uh, ingesting food, the mouth is swamped with bacteria within the first 10 minutes. And that's the time that you really need to get rid of them because bacteria that ingests the food material causes acids to form, which causes leads to decay. But generally, you should brush your teeth at least for five minutes every day. And it's imperative you use a soft to medium toothbrush. Not a hard Never one. use a hard toothbrush. Secondly, what I have found that for a lot of Guyanese patients, that if they have a toothache, they have a tendency to crush an aspirin and put it on the side of the tooth, hoping that that will relieve their pain. I never heard about that. That's something that's a no-no because aspirin actually that if you put it to the side of the tooth that is causing pain, mm -hmm. it doesn't relieve your pain. What it does is causes a chemical burn. How does oral health care lead to oh, not that's a very good question. Um, right. Or having non-communicable right. diseases. If you supposing you don't maintain properly and you develop plaque. Plaque is what causes gingivitis. Once you start developing gingivitis, then your blood, your, your body doesn't know that it's coming from your mouth. Your body knows that you're having an infection. Whether it's coming from your toe, whether it's coming from your hand or your mouth. The body knows it has an infection. So more cholesterol is thrown into the bloodstream. Mm -hmm. Cholesterol, as we know, causes clogging of the heart and every, of your arteries and everything else. So bad oral hygiene would lead to patients becoming susceptible to heart attacks and strokes. Likewise, once there's plaque buildup, there's more, your, your blood glucose rises. So it can make you prone to becoming a diabetic. Patients who are diabetic, they have a lot of gum diseases because they're more susceptible to oral infections. However, if you're not a diabetic and you have a lot of gum diseases, that in turn could lead to diabetes. They said when you see a person for the first time, the first thing you notice is their eyes, the second thing is their teeth, and the third thing is their hair. Oh. But they find that most people take more pride in their hair rather than in their teeth. Be true to your teeth or they'll be false to you. That was it at the Jagan Dental Center and we had fun. <laughs> <laughs> Now that we've learned a little bit more on oral health and how it ties into the overall bodily health, let's meet Merlin Pereira and Kevin Reddy, the final two of the six. My name is Kevin Reddy, I'm from Perico. 
and I'm a part of the NAPS Wario group for the Fitted competition. Now, I opted to be a part of this competition to use it as an added motivation to lose the weight. My sister always tells me that, you know, you're a chubby, you're a chubby kid. And um, <laughs> it wasn't until that extent was really huge. But then as I grow, you find that I start to put on a lot of weight. I wasn't um, into this whole fitness thing in terms of eating healthy, watch me eating and stuff. But then I was sitting in my office. Um, I got to give great thanks to Quartz. Um, I heard the advertisement on the radio. And um, I said, you know what? This is, this, is, this is it for me. I think I need to lose some weight. So I signed up for that competition, which is the Quartz Fit Get Fit competition that is earlier this year. And that actually motivated me. Hi, my name is Marlene Ferreira. I'm from the West Bank. I'm mother of two. I go to the Inline Fitness Gym. I'm in this Fitbit program trying to lose some weight. Lost some weight already, but then my goal is to lose more, to, be, to meet my BMI, which is a task for me, but I'm hoping to achieve it. My encouragement to, to the people out there is to just give it a try. Don't say that it can't happen because I, I at one time thought that would, but it was in my case, but you just, just have to try it. And then when you start losing the weight, people, some people will tell you negative things that you don't need to lose the weight, that you start looking bad, you look like you're sick and these things. Don't bother with them. Just stick to your goal and continue moving. Keep, keep active. This is when jogging with Curtis workouts literally to see their progress it's time for an update but before let me remind you get those pens and pencils out and be prepared for the sterling products weekly trivia so how do you find the whole fitness journey going so far very challenging very challenging yes but it's good once you get it once you get the hang of what's going on who is your biggest challenge? <laughs> always the jogging. Jogging. The jogging is always my problem. Tell me about Curtis as a trainer. Who is oh it? my god. He's the best. Never stops. No regret. I have no regret joining Curtis Workout. Because I was real heavy and I am dumb. There's a lot I couldn't do, but I can't right now. There is so much I have achieved since I started the Curtis workout so. Tell me about the progress that's been going on in Curtis Fitness Gym so far. Well, so far, they have been working hard. The ladies showing a lot of improvement. But you know, some people have not been consistent. They're not, some of them have not been regular at their gym. But I hope they'll be doing the work at home. But right now, we're supposed to be checking our body weight this month in. And uh, so far, I've seen a lot of improvement to some of my students. But for the ones that, you know, you always, you always get follows. But for these here, they've been to and fro with me every Monday in the, in the gardens here. So far the progress with, with this, we're doing with great. We're ready to show with Guyana that we can gain from what we're getting here today, here to Guyana. So the girls tell me that you're the best. Wow. You keep them motivated, you keep them <laughs> driven. Tell me about that. All right, well, like what I saw today, knowing that yes, I'm the best because you gotta be professional as an instructor. Went into the gym and see how they're sitting in there, the guys are not working with the members. Instead, they're sitting and talking. That's not motivating students. You gotta let students work as hard as they can. They must go home and say, well, yeah, I had a great day. I had a great workout. If you can't find a good instructor to motivate you, there's no improvement there for you. All about it, you put everything together. Meals, workout, we call it kill the body. Let the body work hard. We get it back to our destination. I think that we can win because we're working very hard. We're having our food plates sometimes one time a, um, for the whole week and then the next week we change our diet and then we go back to the food plate. Losing weight is a challenge. It's easy to gain weight. Fruits and then yeah, the vegetables and so this is my personal challenge because I'm accustomed to eating so many vegetables a day. I normally eat a big plate of food and I normally eat but six size only bread. So. You know, at the beginning of this competition I entered with 213 pounds. But I'm not aware of the problem that I have now because I'm scared to go on a scale. But I'm feeling great because everybody keeps telling me that I'm losing the weight. I don't like vegetables. I hate salad. And I don't really like eating food. 
it was a challenge at first, but for now, I have learned to discipline myself a lot. It's about that time for this week's trivia. Which two systems in the body does massage help with? Text your correct answer to 60FITIT. That is 6034848. And the first person to text us will win the Sterling Products Weekly Prize. We had breakfast at Andrew's Supermarket and it was awesome. They had some crazy deals that day too. Let's check it out. Today, this is Fitted on a Saturday at Andrews Supermarket, and we are here with none other than Mr. Andrews himself. So he's going to tell us a little bit about what we're going to be doing today. What are we going to be doing, Psycho? Well, basically, uh, Andrews Supermarket has come on board with Fitted, right? And uh, well, like you said, we are having Fitted Saturday at Andrews Supermarket. Compliments of the hospitality brand. Mm -hmm. So you know, this morning we're going to be having some wonderful breakfast, healthy breakfast. Compliments of the hospitality. All right, so that means anytime when we're done here, we could come down to Aubrey Barker. What lot is this? This is 860 Aubrey Barker. 860 Road. Aubrey Barker. Just to Road. the corner festival city entrance. All of the products are uh -huh. comparable to name brand products. Are comparable to yes. name brand or well known or products, not name brand per se. Well, well known. True. Yeah, so what should I try? Oh, uh, a matter of fact, anything you could try. Anything? Anything, anything what about you the oats? could try. The oats is good. It's the zero cholesterol. Good. You know, so when you're talking about healthy, mm -hmm. you ain't got to worry about your cholesterol level with the oats. You got honey nuts, you got shredded wheat, you got quarter percent bran flakes. Uh -huh. You know me, you have corn flakes. We got the bunch of cinnamon, we got toasted oats, a whole lot of products. That's a lot of products. You know, but we are we're here this morning for breakfast, so we're gonna we're only gonna, you know, push those things that are breakfast oriented. Uh-huh. All right, so we're going to go and try some hospitality breakfast right now and I'm going to attest to the fact of it tasting good just now. Well, my breakfast was very good. As you can see, I completed the potion. Breakfast in general was very good. We had a, I had an apple to go with the, um, with, the, with the wheat and the orange juice. Are you ready? We're going to start now. Yes, you are ready. <laughs> I opted to use the quick oats for my breakfast this morning because it's a healthier choice. I mean, in losing weight, um, it helps to balance the cholesterol. Now, quick oats is not a part of my um, actual breakfast, but after using it today, I will incorporate it in my diet. This morning, I had the 40% bran flakes, and that was complemented by fruits, and it tasted awesome and I will encourage anybody to try the hospitality product. My name is Karen Thomas. Um, this morning I ate the shredded frost, frosted shredded wheat and it tastes good with a low fat milk. Most morning I don't eat anything. I eat whenever I feel like eating. From now on I will use a frosted shredded wheat as long as it is available to my reach. My name is Godfrey King and enjoy the breakfast this morning. It was so wonderful. It's excellent. I had the shredded wheat and it tastes good. My breakfast in the morning is um, two slices of whole wheat bread. Sometimes you go with three, but you don't pass that. <laughs> and a cup of coffee. But now I taste the bread that I had this morning, I will change my eating habit. Inspired by Fit It, Andrew Supermarket has decided that for one day in every month until the end of the Fit It promotion, we'll be giving back 7% discount on all hospitality products. Here I am taking home some of the hospitality <laughs> products. Thank you. Well. I don't have the time, but I know we're out of it. Check us out next week for an in-depth feature on two of the six persons. So until next time, this is Jasmine Harris saying, keep it Ghana.
is a brand new day.